Nothing to do with the call, but the sequence and the back out, and all of a sudden you get a couple big swings there. It was funny. You know, a lot of times you'll see a head coach get fired up like that to kind of fire up the dugout. We were kind of flat early. And we were kind of flat on Sunday. And so I was planning on meeting with the hitters after that half, and um, and he got the boys pretty fired up on his own, so I was debating on whether or not I should or should not. But, um, you know, there was a reason. The call was tough, and, and he was upset. But every once in a while, it does. The guys get off it, um, and it got us going. You know, early in the game, we had some good at-bats. RJ hits the ball out to center. The kid makes a great play and robs it. Um, there was a couple other hard-hit balls for lineouts, but there was a lot of a lot of bad mix in there. Um, the sixth inning on, I thought there was a lot of really good quality at bats, and the guys showed what they could do. And you saw the ball carry off cams about over the fence there. Everybody comes pouring out of that. I got it. At that point, it's like, okay, here we go. Yeah, that, that got us going, and it's good for him because he's been working his tail off. And he's had a really good year so far, but we all know it's not quite the cam that he can be. Um, we had a really good early work session before we got on the bus today, and um, when we were done, I felt like it looked more like him. But um, it was a big swing for our club, and it was a big swing for him. You know, we've, we've been good offensively. We can be better. But with Cam and LT and Hancock really getting going, we can be an offense that goes with that. Just going back to this, this game in general, you won the national title with so many players from this area. How important is this series with Memphis to keep coming up here and playing in front of all these fans? It's a great time. Beautiful ballpark. Um, fans showed out great. It's always nice to come here and obviously play well in front of our fans. So um, it's, it's a great day. it's a great day for us to play those guys. It's a good team, competitive team, um, and it's always nice to, to get a W. What do you kind of know about Arkansas? It's important to continue that pipeline, you know, year after year, because you guys do it really well in this area specifically over in South Asia. Yeah, I think for sure. You know, there's a lot of really good players here. Um, we've had some really good players on our club front here that have done really well in the past, and so it's always nice to kind of come back and, and let the guys play in front of their family. But at the same time, let recruits come here and watch us play a little bit. Chris, that was pretty filthy there down the stretch. What did you see from him? Just aggressive. Aggressive with confidence. Um, we know what he can be. He just hadn't been himself for the first few outings of the year. But every single time he goes out there, he seems to be getting better and better and better, you know? And we don't need him to be his best or be great. We just need to be good and, and be competitive. And, and you saw it tonight. I know he had some struggles there his first time back since that opening weekend. But Casey Young to kind of get him back in the mix. How, how important is he? It's huge. It's huge for us. Um, unbelievable talent. Um, just adds length to our bullpen or our rotation, whatever you want to look at it. Um, and he's a big team guy, and the, and the guys love him. And so being able to add that kind of guy back into the mix is really big for a ball club. That's been trying to figure some things out in the bullpen. How Which, big is it to have an emotional man like this heading to Bay It's big. You want to play good baseball no matter what. Um, and I think we've been getting better every single day, every game. And the wins and losses may not always show that, but I can tell his team's getting better. So we have a big weekend this weekend. Um, it'll be an awesome, awesome environment. And uh, I think the boys are looking forward to it. Exactly. Jack, how do you guys get off to a better start hitting wise? The last four games, y'all struggled to get the starter and then come out in the six, seven, eight innings to start to really get going offensively. Funny you ask. So going into Sunday's hitters meeting, my my big deal with the boys is you're playing with everything you have from the first pitch to the last. So before Sunday, I said that, but I said I would much rather it be more on the front end from the first pitch yeah. to the last. <laughs> um, you know, I think a lot of times you have to kind of tip your hat to the starter on Sunday. Um, their lefty did a really good job against us. And tonight, their starter, he's really good. He had really good numbers coming in. Um, I don't think it's a lack of focus. I think it's just the guys getting to, into the speed of the game. And um, tip your hat to him. He did well, but we're never out of it. And we're never going to stop. We're going to keep going no matter what the score is. And so the guys did a good job of jumping back on it tonight.